Diggs, the world's strangest animal. Hello. Hi, what What are you doing? He's so weird. He's just a weird dog. He's just, he's just overall very strange dog. What's going on, my reefing familia? March here, Frag Box TV. Okay, we're gonna do a vlog update. If you guys ever um, come here on a Monday, something cool happens to our store. So most people think that this is a coral store and we sell corals and fish, invertebrates, aquariums, all that fun stuff. It's actually a lie. On Mondays, this is actually a shipping warehouse. This becomes Canada's coral distribution freaking center. Our store just gets taken over by orders. Like basically this is what takes up the entire day is just trying to get um, orders out across the country. They build up from Friday, Saturday, Sunday because we can't ship them. And then we have this small store here and it becomes pandemonium. So if you're looking to talk to us, don't call us on Mondays. That's all I'm trying to say. Mondays, since you're laughing, <laughs> it's true though, right? Yeah. It is true. If we don't answer the phone, we don't get back to you in an orderly fashion on a Monday. This is, this is our reason why, because it's no longer frag box. It's just shipping box. I didn't know that uh, when I opened a coral store, I was really starting a, uh, a shipping company. But anyways, that's my little rant. Sean, who just bought these, very, very, very good lighting choice for your new build. Just wanted to give you a shout out here. Very, very nice lights going out to British Columbia. Get this orange and uh, echinastria. I added one here to the tank. These things are basically immortal. If he kind of looks like he's posing for the camera. If you're looking for a super easy starfish to keep, one of the hardiest ones out there, Orange Echinastria. That's what you should look for. This is so cool. Look at this thing. Tia is actually bringing this home today. What? It is a what is it? De decorator. Where are you where are you gonna put it? I think he's gonna go to my macroalgae tank because he's got macroalgae on. Oh, true. That's a good idea, like for a refugium. Or yeah. like a display fuge or something, no? It is. It's yeah, that's huge. smart. It's, it's beautiful. It's an all-in-one tank. Though, He's so creepy. I got used to handling him though. Yeah. Yeah, I was He's really friendly. first. Yeah, he is friendly. <laughs> he looks. He looks like he's from hell, but it's actually really cool. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. animal. If you're looking for a solution to fireworms, this is something I just found out. Emerald crabs. Apparently, look at this guy. You know what? Maybe not emerald crabs. Maybe just this one right here. It's just going to town on this poor, poor fireworm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's opportunistic all right. He's poor guy. Yeah, he's gonna munch on him. New little product update. Red Sea came out with their own version of a dip. I've yet to try it. Um, called Dip X. I don't know how it's gonna differ from some of the other popular brands like Coral RX and Revive. It kind of smells like. Okay, you can't see me right now behind the camera. Eucalyptus, yeah, it smells like eucalyptus mixed with turpentine. So we'll give it a shot. I don't know if it's going to be any different. It is less expensive, but I guess it is also smaller. Ethaptasia, this is a new product for us. Maybe not for you. It seems quite popular online. Tia recently used it to kill, not Aptasia, but but some Zoas actually. So we're going to try it out on Aptasia and then report back. But there were some kind of... Oh, you got one left actually. You missed one. Yeah, right there. You see this? Uh, it's called a proto pally. This one's sticking out between the nice sort of. It is nice. I don't know why you killed them. Whatever. Um, you see, they don't want them anymore. They were all throughout here. They're kind of covering this um, section. Real estate for mushrooms. More, more mushroom real estate. Anyway, she used after. Our, our, we have a family that watches us oh, every day, and we have a frag for them. Family that watches it. us every day. You know who you are. You that you want the frag of it? It's um, it's here waiting for you. Okay, well. She was trying to get rid of them. F. Aptasia, apparently, not only good for Aptasia, also good for killing some sorts of Zoas. But she left it on there, I think, like way, way longer. It made it super pasty. So that's our little comment on that. Neptune, finally. We've been kind of low on some Neptune stuff for a while. Lots of new Neptune toys in stock. If you're ever looking for Neptune here in Canada, we are Canada's number one Neptune Apex dealer. Every single little product in stock. Not only that, we use it. This entire store is running off Neptune Apex. If you've ever seen in the other videos, the basement, the amount of wiring, the amount of energy bar eights, we have so much Neptune Apex stuff. It's all hooked up to the computer, our phones. Tia's using it at home. The staff members use Apex. Um, big shout out, love, love, love this product. Super expensive, wallet hurting, divorce causing kind of purchase, but well, well, well worth it. And everything finally back in stock. Lots of new stuff in stock. Look at these, just in time for Halloween. We've got some very cool Halloween urchins. And we haven't had these in a while. 
Very nice size pom-pom crabs. These are way bigger than usual. Check out the pom-poms on them. They look great. And one more thing I want to show you. Ooh, hello. The spider decorator. And these mangroves. I haven't had mangroves in a long time, so if you're on our wait list, you're looking for them, finally have some nice um, rooted, which is key, rooted mangroves. So ready to go. Check out these. Fresh from Mexico. Check these out. Mexican turbo snails. There's uh, about a hundred of them in there. We're running into a little bit of an algae issue here in our SPS bed, which is looking quite low, but we're getting some new SPS uh, this week. But check out these. These are gonna clean up the algae really nicely. So let's see what other projects are on the go here in Fragbox. So if you're new to the channel, if you don't already know, this place never stops changing. Um, I think it's a reflection of my craziness. I always got something on the go. Are you leaving? It's okay, bye Dylan. Dylan's leaving for the day. Um, so this project over here, new soul tank, almost finished. I just waiting on a couple pieces of acrylic or plexi, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, to finish this off nicely and give it more of a uh, finished kind of, I can't leave it like that. You can't leave two by fours. You walk into a reef store and you see this, no bueno, no good. I like everything nice, clean, and uh, white happens to be the theme in here, sort of white and kind of black with like the fish and the invert system over there. But I really like sort of that, that finished look, you know? So definitely can't leave it like that. I'm gonna get that done. I am decided I'm just gonna do the two radions because it's a, sh uh, sorry, I was gonna swear. It's a, uh, it's a lot of light. It's more than enough with the par meter. Oh, that's what I should talk to you about. Why is the camera blurry right now? Sorry. Par meter, speaking about par meters, I'll do another video dedicated to this, but I just wanna quickly mention, we are now offering digs. Let Matt eat his lunch. Let him eat his lunch. Get out of here, dog. You can't have jerk chicken. We're now offering par meter rental service across Canada. So if you don't know what a par meter is, I will link in the description what this little box is. You can rent a box, it's not a box, hold on. It, uh, it's a device that measures how strong the output of your light is. So we are now renting it. Um, it used to be only local. It's quite an expensive device. It's about 500 bucks, but basically it gives you a reading of your light. So you're not guessing how strong to set your lights. You actually get a digital output so that you can properly set your LED lights, strength, intensity, color, all that fun stuff without guessing based on the health of the coral. Because without that tool, you're really just using your eyes and coral health to guesstimate how strong your lights are. Um, can be. I'll, I'm gonna do a page on the site and a dedicated video how to rent it. It's basically a $500 deposit. We send it to you and then you use it, you send it back and you get just about, uh, I think it's gonna be 80 bucks Canadian will be the charge. That includes shipping to and from rental fee, taxes, everything built in. We're still working out the logistics. Um, we just did a trial run. So with that device, that was a major sidetrack. With that device, I was able to measure the par in here and just the two. We got the XR30 running over our little sold acro section. What are you trying to show me? This, 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 the the manager is like following me around with the phone behind the camera. Yeah, on this tank, yeah. Yeah, on the reef. So this is um, our new rock setup here. We just re revamped the entire reefer. I'll, I'll do another video a little bit more dedicated, but what Tia was showing on the phone, let me see without dropping your phone in the water. This is really dangerous. What are we doing? Come on this side. <laughs> this is how you lose a phone. Isn't it water resistant, I think? So this is called like a PAR map. So she used the PAR meter to basically map out where the PAR is in the tank. So over here is 290, 290, 370, which is quite high. That's a fox face. There's 290, 280. So that's a good idea because if you, if you do rent one, you may forget um, gonna forget. You're gonna forget. It's very hard to remember <laughs> yeah. where all the numbers are exactly. So this is what we call a, a par map, and then you can kind of see where's the best place to place corals and set the light. So that's what we've gone and done on this tank over here. We've added two corals and a bunch of pin cushions. So why pin cushions? Because we've decided to go bare bottom, and Tia doesn't really like the look of it. Yeah, uh, we like it though, right? I think it's a consensus. Me and Matt, we're, we're both on board. We're gonna do one bare bottom tank. All the other display tanks in the store have sand. I love sand, sand looks great and fun and looks like a reef tank. You made a good point the other day. She said, when do you ever see bare bottom in the ocean? <laughs> yeah, you don't. But then I also made a point like, oh, we're also doing something really Yeah, this, this is also not the ocean. This is the furthest thing from the ocean. We're here in Toronto, Ontario. But that being said, the bottom will turn purple with coralline. So what we've done is add the pin cushions because they are coralline eating machine. So if you're looking to grow coralline, don't add 
a pin cushion because it's gonna eat all of it. So I think we're gonna put like something silly, like ten of them in here. There's uh there's four right now. Let's see one, two, three, and there's a four one. I think we're gonna run ten. Run, don't run pin cushions. We're gonna put ten of them so that the bottom and the tank stays more or less coralline kind of free. We still have to play with the pumps. Um, the lights are more or less set. We added our first coral here in the back. Nice little tenuous, and we also added a Setosa Montipora. But I think this will get its own video. We're getting new Acro. So the, the, the idea behind this tank is SPS dominated. Tia wants to call it um, Chicks and Sticks. Uh, if you guys have any clever names, question of the day, maybe comment below. I think that would be kind of cool if we named the tanks. Instead of just calling this Dylan's Fusion 20, Tia's Evo 13, March's um, Crash Disaster Phoenix Rebuilding Tank. You know, it would be kind of cool to have maybe a nickname for the tank. So we're at Chicks and Sticks. If you have something creative, we do read the comments. You guys are funny. I think some of our viewers are stand-up comedians because sometimes we'll read a comment and if I write LOL, LOL, literally, I'm laughing. I'm behind the screen and you crack, you got me. You cracked me up, so I'll let you know. But um, it doesn't have to be humorous. Just give us a name for the tank. Maybe something related to the rock work. It's kind of cool. This, this kind of cool branching structure. If you're wondering how we built it, um, Tia, well not we, Tia single-handedly made it and I'll, uh, I'll link some of the videos in the description below. What else can I talk about? I think that's about it for the vlog update. Uh, this tank's coming along nice, back to normal. And I just shot a update video on this, so I'm gonna release, I'll try and do these in sequence. So if you ever see that our videos don't line up, like one video says, you know, oh, we're getting an amazing shipment next week and then the next video, you know, the shipment's already in. Um, we do have a list of videos and we do shoot the vlogs kind of throughout the week as we have content. So bear with us and um, yeah, sometimes chronologically, maybe the videos won't make the most sense, but I will, will try my best to drop the update of this one after the one that I'm shooting right now. If you're looking for a sump, I have a crazy, crazy deal on a sump. Somebody come steal this. Please don't steal it. Um, come pay for it. But this is a Fiji Cube 36. 36 inches, didn't work for a customer. It's an open box, brand new, has never seen water. It's normally about 800 bucks after tax. We're selling it for four, okay? That's 400 bucks, four hundo off, 50% off the normal MSRP. It's an awesome, awesome sump. It's actually the same sump we're using on our fish system over here in the basement. Lots of new inverts in stock, lots of new corals coming. So we're getting into our busy season. And what does that mean? Busy season, winter time is coming. People here in Canada go back indoors, start to pay more attention to the tanks. This is definitely a... Hair algae's growing out of Hair algae's getting nuts, corals aren't looking as hot. It's a seasonal hobby. It's, at least for us here in Canada, I'm not sure where you're watching from, it's, if it's seasonal, but here because we have such a short uh, period of time where we can actually enjoy the outdoor weather and before we go into this frozen hell, we, um, we, as Canadians, or at least here in Toronto, we try and get the most out of that. And then I find customers, there's a summertime neglect. With the reef tanks, the cold weather comes, and then we start to see all your familiar faces. Everyone starts to come back in, and we get super busy. So we tend to bring in a lot, a lot, a lot. I mean a lot. Three, four, five times the amount of coral in the winter months than in the summer months. So this is going to be full as of next week with tons of SPS, Acros, uh, Mary Cultured Colonies, really nice variety of Millies, Tenuous, Tortusas, Spatuladas, Granulosas, you guys don't, and some of you don't know what I'm saying. The Acro diehards out there are probably getting excited, but we bring in a lot more, which means there's gonna be a lot more content, more corals, means March is talking more, means more camera time, means more Mr. Diggs. Look at them over there, look at that love affair. He sits on the chair like a little man. I think that's about it. We'll wrap this one up. If you guys like the channel, go ahead and subscribe. There's a little button down somewhere there so you'll know when we release our new video, which will be tomorrow because we do a video here seven days a week. Uh, maybe six days. I'm gonna, uh, we do a video every business day of the week. Is that fair to say? Yeah, every business day. Weekends get a little bit loco up in the store, so they don't always have the time to upload. But uh, appreciate you watching. We'll wrap this one up. And thank you for tuning in to this vlog update of Fragbox TV. This strawberry shortcake Acropora, man, oh, hello. Crazy, 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 crazy. I'm going to do an entire video dedicated to this individual coral. That's not something I normally do. This one is worth it. We're talking about, yeah, that's, you're gonna get showcased for sure. Not reef safe, I will repeat. I take back my opinion on 
These fish I used to love, I still love them. But you know what, I'm gonna say, proceed with caution. Not 100% reef safe, yeah, eat algae, not corals. Banana. Little side update, side everything, side track, side story, side update. I guess it's a vlog, so whatever, we can update. This is finally done. More or less, just gotta get some racks installed. So if you didn't see the other video, what this is, is kind of our new holding tank here in the basement. It'll allow us to bring in um, more corals and just hold more, grow more, just, just a nice little frag. This is what we call a frag table, not even a frag tank, super, super shallow. I really, really like the height. It's only six inches, so it means about five inches of water. It's five feet by 36, and I wish I went bigger. Now that it's in here, I really should have gone um, four feet, and I should have gone, I should have maximized. This is wasted space. What do I have this here for? For what, look, for what? For junk, for junk to build up. I could have had aquarium. You know what? That one extra foot, it makes a difference. A foot this way and four feet that way would have made, would have made a world of difference. Would have been much bigger. So that's my one little regret with this tank, but whatever, it's done. I'm not gonna look back and kick myself. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Flow, I actually just took out a pump. If you're looking for very inexpensive, reliable flow, this is a Ciche Voyager 8000. They're about 80 bucks up here in Canada. I think it's like 60 US. Quiet, five year warranty, Italian made. I'm running two, uh, three of them on a five by three frag tank. I think that's pretty good in terms of flow. I didn't go with any crazy controllable Wi-Fi app controlled uh, Nero's or stuff like that. But yeah, just wanted to give you a quick update. This tank's done. Thank you again to the guy on YouTube who gave me that suggestion about this. I did take your advice. We do read the comments. Um, could have really, yeah, could have been a lot worse. You know that I'm pretty good at making mistakes, so this one's done. We have some new fish uh, in our QT. What's up? These are chocolate tangs. I don't know why they call them chocolate tangs because they're yellow. They're kind of like cheaper yellow tanks and they're super friendly. They're not skittish like some of the other tanks out there, blue tanks, powder tanks, where you walk up. These ones have um, kind of like a nice personality. If you want to know what I'm running in my QT, maybe I'll do another video. I don't run anything. What? This guy's crazy. No copper, no meds. I have a really messed up sort of viewpoint on ick and velvet and disease when it comes to fish and stuff like that. I'm gonna talk about it in another view, how we how we QT. We don't sell too many here in the store, just our captive fed clowns, but if we ever wanna introduce a new fish into sort of like our system here, um, they gotta go through four to eight weeks in this tank. But I'll talk to you guys another time about that. Hello, Mr. Fascination Fabia. I'm not even gonna say anything. We don't need words, okay? They're just beautiful, that's it, we're gonna give you your YouTube 15 seconds of glory. Enjoy. What are you testing? Nitrate. Nitrate. Sure See? Okay. Even frag box tests their water. Very, very important to test the water in your aquarium. I think that's about it for today's vlog update. We'll go ahead and wrap this one up. If you like the content, if you like the channel, if you like bulldogs, if you like fish and corals and all that fun stuff. We do a video here every single day of the week. So we will see you back here tomorrow and I will leave you with this beautiful Wontanabe reef safe, might I mention? Reef safe. 99% reef. reef safe. No, this one's 100%. He's a nice guy. Oh, female, never mind. She's a nice woman um, looking for um, a boyfriend. So if you know of any single bachelor Wontanabe angelfish, We've tried the dating apps, it's all trash. Yeah, we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. Uh, I'll leave you guys alone. We'll do this again tomorrow. Hit us back up. Thank you for watching this episode of Fragbox TV.